Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del P. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Hello! Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, narinig niyo ba ako? Alright. So, thank you so much for per your participation and and where you are right now. So, please be safe at saka patuloy pa rin ang ating paglilingkod sa ating bayan tungo sa ikatagupay po na ating lahat sa pagbibigay sa inyo ng quality education for all. Alright, so this time we will be learning and I'm your tutor, Jess, okay, for this afternoon to give you another topic that will elicit and stimulate with our minds about the subject, English. And our topic this afternoon for English 10 We will be focusing, okay, this is the second week of our discussion for quarter four English 10, giving technical and operational definitions. Okay, to give you this kind of this overview, because this is very important in giving technical, especially for operational definitions, uh, sa paglalagi sa atin, no? Uh, balang araw or in the true uh, thorough run of our discussion, malalaman nyo kung ano bang gamit nitong technical operations for definitions. Okay. One thing is, magagamit nyo ito sa pag-re-research at saka yung mga technical, giving technical, ano ito, uh, mga topics or ano bang gagawin sa pag-guide o bibigyan ng guide, uh, bibigyan kayo ng guide, no? Sa pagbibigay ng tamang paraan, okay? Paano ba mag-describe ng isang concept? At saka pagbibigay ng definition through operational, operational, okay? Definition. So, thank you so much for your participation. And to those who are here, good afternoon. And, ay, mabuhay po kayong lahat. From, uh, we have this Marie Cruz de la Cruz. Good afternoon, de la Cruz. Watching from the Lawrence National High School. Thank you, okay? And also, those who are here, we have Rika Lising and we have Josephine Joy Fuentes, okay? Thank you so much. And to those who are here right now, viewing, live po tayo sa ating Facebook ng ating e Live program of the Philippines. And we have live po tayo sa ating DepEd TV. And in our YouTube, okay? YouTube, okay? So, this is English then. We will now proceed to, okay, actually we're using the EDM or the mutual, okay. This is, uh, there are the right, uh, these are the writers, okay, for this module. Uh, this is from the Negros Occidental, okay. There's a Region 7 Schools Division of Negros Occidental. So, ginagamit po natin, okay, ang modules nila. Thank you so much for the division now Negros Occidental. Thank you. All right. So this time to proceed. Hi, sir. Uh, further ado, uh, what uh, we know. So yes. Okay. What? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, it's uh, the module is from Negros Oriental. Yeah. Thank you for writers. Okay. From all right. Oriental. All right. Uh, these are the writers. Thank you, sir. No? Oriental, oh, Negros, I mean, ah, uh, Negros, okay. I will repeat, okay, I stand corrected. This is from Division Negros Oriental, okay. Thank you, Division 7, uh, Division or Negros 7, Schools Division of Negros Oriental, okay. I stand corrected, thank you so much. Okay, so thank you, no, writers. 
All right? So, what I know about this topic, so pre-assessment, so this is now the re directions. Tell whether the statements below are true or false. Then you choose the letter of the correct answer. Write the answer in your answer sheet. Okay? Answer sheet. Now, you have your modules there, you have your papers, you have your pens together with your modules, then you answer it by yourself. What, is, what are the answers for this? Okay. We will be starting. Madali Okay. You will select A for true, B for false. All right. So for number one, operational definition is the specific meaning of a word or phrase given as their specific context. Anybody from the group or viewers who can answer this one? Okay, operational definition is the specific meaning of a word or phrase given in their specific context. Okay, for number two, you write the number, you write a number right now, and you write A or B. Okay, A for true, then B for false. Okay, for number two, the purpose of defining the term in a research study is to keep them unambiguous, thereby reducing errors. Is it true or false? All right, so you think, you think, right? Analyze uh, the item. What about number three? There are rules to follow in defining terms operationally. Right? So, sad. is there rules to follow? What about number four? There are universally accepted definitions of terms and variables. What about number five? An operational definition is the same with a conceptual definition. Number six, you need an operational definition because you can't measure anything without one, no matter how good your conceptual definition might be. Number seven, in technical writing, which are terms used are defined operationally. Number eight, tell whether this statement is an example of operational definition. Now, well, let's go back to number one. What is your answer? Operational, defin uh, operational definition is specific meaning of a word or phrase given in their specific context. Okay, let's try to see. Ah, Maria Fernando. Hello. San Jose National High School. Sige po, tingnan natin ba anong answer. For Chiro Jessica, it's letter A. Is it true? All right. The correct answer is A. This is true. See, this is true. Very good. All right. Next is for number two. The purpose of defining the term in research study is to keep them ambiguous, ambiguous, thereby reducing errors. You try to think unambiguous, then you keep that by uh, thereby reducing errors. In the second, reducing errors, power time ka balik chan. Okay, ano ang tamang sagot chan? Ang tamang sagot is the answer is. Mm, it's letter A. That is true. Okay. So for number three, the rules to follow in defining terms operational. There are, I, okay, there are rules to follow in defining terms operationally. What is your answer? There are rules to follow in this? Okay, the correct answer is, that is letter, letter B. Okay. What about number four? There are universally accepted definitions of terms and or variables. What is your answer? Okay, anybody from the group? Okay, Tutor Jessica, marami talaga na papashout out dito, no? So please, you write your answers. Yeah, aside from the papashout out tayo, then you, write, you provide answers so that it's an interactive discussion about us for this topic, all right? So class, or those learners who are watching right now, this would be your guide, no? So, to determine what are the answers to the following, okay? There are universal accepted definitions or terms of variables. Are there, okay, universally accepted definitions? According to the answer, based on the answers that we have, that is a letter B, okay, that is, Okay, false. What about number six? Okay, number five, I mean. 
An operational definition is the same with conceptual definition. Operational, the same with conceptual. Are they the same? Let's try to look. What is your answer? The correct answer is B. A. Very good to those who are writing their answers right now. Because there's, this would be your guide, no? What are the answers for your items there in your activity? Thank you. Now, watching. Yes, thank you so much for watching. For those who are all right, uh, on their place, no? Uh, answering their modules, especially the students. Number six, you need an operational op definition because you can't measure anything without one, no matter how good your conceptual definition might be. Okay? The correct answer for this is A. That is, yes, this is true. What about number seven? In technical writing, words or terms used are defined operationally. Okay, for technical writing, yes, this is true. Okay, that words or terms are defined operationally. What about number eight? Tell so whether the statement is example operational definition. Tell so whether this statement is example operational definition. Yes. You have to define and you have to state that this is an operational definition. This is true also. All right. According to this intelligence level, okay, a kind of operation or a definition. That intelligence level is defined operationally by the measurements such as the results of an IQ test. Okay, let's try to see what are the fruits or... Okay, uh, gumilitaw ngayon dito sa ating, mga, sa ating activity, okay? More on, we have this operational, we have this technical, we have this conceptual. Now, let's try to look. What's in your module? All right, so I do hope you're following right now, okay? Answer with your module. So let us have a short review on how to make definitions by arranging the steps in making a definition. Now, you can put the sequence of the steps by writing... Uh, writing the number one to four in the first column, okay, in the first column. Okay, this would be the sequence, okay? Okay, after which we will define, we'll let us see if your answers are correct. So for sequence, so we have the steps in making a definition. You classify the term, you specify what class the category belong to according to the standard of the dictionary definition. And for the next one is the research of the words or regions. Then you look up your chosen word in the dictionary or in and another etymology dictionary. Next is to provide traditional details about the term. You explain the physical characteristics or traditional thoughts used to describe your term or a toy. Next, use examples to illustrate the meaning. Then, now this time, you arrange the steps. Okay. But the next. Okay. Okay. All right. So, in your short review, it's so a review. And make definitions of arranging the steps and make a definition. Okay. Based on your based on your experience. So, you can put the sequence of steps by writing number eight, one to four. So, in your definition, in your experience, how do you define it? Yeah, how do you define it? So anybody from our viewers right now, based on your experience on how to define or how to give or how to make a definition out of the definition of a topic. So anybody from the class. So if you have this experience of arranging it by what's the first, oh, what's the first based on your analysis. Okay, boy, the bang. Okay, let's start with. Uh, you will classify the terms. Okay, it could be that you specify the classes category word belonging to a category or standard dictionary definition. It can be. Okay, so what about number two? If that would be the case for number one, what about it's for number two? After classifying those terms. After classifying those words, 
you will now ano, research. Okay, research the words in regions. You look up your chosen word in a dictionary or in another etymology dictionary. You research this term. Example, the term about uh, COVID-19 or uh, a text or a word. Uh, example, discrimination. Okay. You will write it or you research the words for region. Okay. What's the region of that? Okay. Example, philosophy. Okay. The word philosophy, there is an origin. From the Greek word or from what uh, operational definition of that. Then, you provide now traditional data about the term. You explain any physical characteristics of traditional thoughts used to describe any term of choice. That's it. Then, after a long run of your definition, there would be an illustrate the meaning. You will use this concept based on this definition to a larger view by giving examples. Using those terms. That would be simple as that, students. Let's go beyond about this. Are you not ready to learn more? Then what you're waiting for, class? Hey, what are you waiting for? Let's start to end. What's in you? So you observe now closing the picture. Then you answer now the question that follows. Okay. This picture portrays about a, okay. Let's read. Below, below it, our troubles are over. I found as a seven footer. Let's try to think. But tingnan natin janat operational definitions. This is a kind of a picture that depicts something. Okay, depicts something, and it means something. Okay, all right. So you can comment down if you have your interpretation in this okay, based on that image that we have okay because we have this our set of minds okay how we think with a perspective object just like with this picture what can you say on this okay so those are the four you can say something and you can write that in your notebook and your paper then give some interpretation on it this is in accordance in the link with our discussion this afternoon about a topic, okay? And that topic, but before that, the question would be, what happened when a word or phrase is not understood in the same way by any, anybody uh, or everyone on a team? So example on this, okay? Kung hindi masyado nitindihan yung isang term o ano yung mga explanation, ano yung theme, okay, merong problema sa pagbigay ng instructions. Example, the players, example, the coach and the player. Then you give your instructions to your players in a game, example, in a basketball game or in a volleyball game or in soccer. Then you have this kind, you, have, you should have this kind of strong and clear, specific instructions so that your players will follow what it is. And there is no vagueness and there is no ambiguous uh, to them. Okay. Based on that, then by giving uh, from the by giving instructions from the folks. So, so why it is related? To our discussion this afternoon about the photo, then according to the question that what would be happened for a word of praise not understood in the same way by everyone on a team, not only a team but any one of us, no? by giving a, a word or a theme or a concept which is not so clear to viewers, to those who are listening, okay? So now we will learn the operational definitions is about and how to create it. So let's start with conceptual definition. According to what I've said earlier, and we have our pretest about conceptual definition, about this operational definition. Okay. Conceptual definition, it tells you the concept means that the concept you construct are by explaining how are related to other constructs. In other words, when some definition is just the literal or core sense of a word. There is nothing read in the term, no subtext. It's just a straightforward literal or dictionary definition of the word. As what I have said last, as what I have said students, so those are viewers right now, this is a straightforward definition. 
example definition about love. What is your definition about love? Anybody from the viewers? A love. Okay, what is your operation based on the okay, dictionary? It's a straightforward, literal. A love is a sense of a feeling of attraction. That would be the kind of you are comfortable to have this, and it's a mutual understanding of you and a sense of spirit of the feeling of you are comfortable and you are contented and you have this feeling of attractiveness to someone. Not okay, not only to a friend, but also to your sister or whatsoever, to your family, and above all, to God. Okay, that's. Uh, definition of concept is straightforward, literal. In a technical writing, however, there are words that are used specific ways in different disciplines. And these are called operational definition. All right. Okay, let's put it here. Okay, concept 12 is straightforward and literal. And there are technical, however, words that are used to specific ways in different disciplines. Somewhere. That is operational definition. Okay, let us use the tongue as an example, right? So, hello po sa ating mga nanonood ngayon. Good afternoon from Ramon National High School. Thank you. Okay, love, love, love. And to those who are watching right now, John Michael Antonio Montoya. Thank you. All right, Trisha and Nick Dow. Okay, and also Lai Chinel Kabon All right. So if you have your answers, if you have your comments, if you have your understanding about this topic, you can comment so that we can answer and we can I can relay you what would it mean, okay? So example for this is the word this. Okay. okay. As example, it's probably a word that the reader immediately understand, right? Sabi nating tang. But understands incorrectly depending on context. Example. If, if if defined conceptually, it can be structure of a mouth, right? So that is conceptual. As said, uh, as what I have said, this is straightforward. Okay, a strip of land, part of a shoe, or a language, part of a belt, a battle, part of belt, anything that is shaped to like an owl, tongue. This is an example common used to words that is used in common ways, right? So if it is example, if this example of it is an example of a commonly used word that is used in common ways and may be avoided if the technical writing defines terms that are likely to be understood or not understood. So you should identify based on the definition that you're going to address. So is it a tongue for a part of the mouth or is it a tongue or a strip of land or is, is it a part of a shoe or it is a language See, that's it go so in order to perform this function there are different functions of that word the technical writer must watch for words of this type when doing research and must seek to understand the official definitions of these words all right, so what is operational definition? So out from this straightforward definition, definition for conceptual, operational definition is specific. Meaning of a word or phrase given to it by a group of people who use the word in their specific context. Okay, so that's it. Operational definitions assign meaning to a variable by specifying the objectives, operations necessary to measure, categorize, or manipulate the variable. As what I have said, you have your targets. Operational definition is somewhat like what is in your study that you have to have this focus based on operational definition of that thing, example, discrimination. Then you emphasize what's in the definition for its operational definition, specific. You're given that. Okay, aside from conceptual definition, that's literal and straightforward definition of discrimination. Often definitions assign meaning to a variable by specific activities. Yes, operations can be measure, categorize, categorize, and manipulate the variable. Operation definition is stated in terms of operations or procedures that must be carried out in observing or measuring that which is being defined. 
Okay, ano bang pinapalitaw dyan? Ano bang binibigyang sin? Ano bang binibigyang halaga? Okay, based on your study. Okay, example, intelligence relates possibly to achievement. implies that higher the intelligence level of a person, the better he achieves. Also, intelligence level may be defined operationally by its measurement. The result of the IQ test while the achievement level can be measured by an achievement test whether standardized or future made. So there is a specification. There is somewhat like an example to how to specify a thing. Uh, what do you call this one? A uh, definition. Okay. So the sole purpose of defining the terms of or variables in a research study, as what I have said, this is in relation to our research, uh, making a research. Okay? As sooner or later, you can have the research. Then, uh, masasalubo, makikita nyo talaga kung ano pa yung mga conceptual definitions, kung ano ba ibig sabihin na operational definitions. So, ito na yun. This is your guide. This is the first uh, step that you're going through. So, the sole purpose defining the terms or variables in a research study operationally is to keep them unambiguous. What is it unambiguous? You define it based on related to your study. You define it specifically. That's what I have said. Straightforward conceptual definition. Basic. That is dictionary meaning. But in operational definition, you stay how to specify. You stay the, the, the definition based on their purpose and function, thereby reducing errors. Now, there are how to define variables operationally. There are variables. Okay, if we talk about research, we have this broad general research. We, we will talk about qualitative and quantitative research. If we talk about qualitative research, uh, it is more on language. It is more descriptive. If we talk about quantitative uh, research, it talks about numerical numerical interpretation of the results based on numerical data. Now, these variables or indicators are used in our study. And the very essential to it is you will define the correct, uh, you will define the correct uh, definitions or descriptions to a specific indicator or variable. In fact, okay, according to this, there is no hard and first rule again. There is no hard, as uh, sinabi ko na kanina, there is no hard and first rule for a person defining a variable. Operational definitions may vary depending on the purpose and the way you choose to measure them. So as what I said, they're specific. Di ba sa jargon? Jargon. So these are specialist words na ginagamit lang sa municipal fields. There are also words na ginagamit lang sa example, teachers, education. So that's it. So there are words that are have this kind of purpose, have this kind of function. Okay, whenever possible, operation definitions used by others to work or good standing could be used when the results can be compared. Then neither are there a universal acceptable definitions of the variables. Wala talaga. So a researcher can logically choose a definition of a variable that will serve his or her so that's the, the, the comparison and the contrast of this conceptual and operational definition. So operational definition in research is critically operational defined variable in order to lend credibility to a methodology and to ensure product, uh, produ uh, yeah, reproducibility of the results of the study. Another study may identify the same variable differently, making it difficult to compare the results of the two studies, okay? So, an operational definition serves as, number one, the four parts, okay? Establish the rules and procedures the researcher uses to measure the variable, okay? Those who are watching right now, that's it, number four, number one. It provides an unambiguous, when you say unambiguous, yung mga hindi, mga makaklaro, no? Klali-klaro, no? Na mga definition. And there should be consistent meaning of variables or terms that otherwise can be interpreted in different ways. And uh, it makes collection of data as well as the analysis more focused and efficient. It guides type of data and information where we are. That is operational definition. All right? 
So example of situation context. So this is again an example. Okay. Suppose a study of classified students according to the grades they received. Example, the A, B, and C, etc. But the task is not that easy if you must determine which students fall in which grade. Yes, sino tayo maintain ko saan ba siya nag-grade since there is a seldom of universal rule for grades. Now, to do this, you need an operational definition. Okay? Magagamit talaga natin ang operational definition, conceptual definition sa ating research. Okay? Now, is we have this term paper, concept of concept paper. Yeah. So post further that we want to make four categories of knowledge. No knowledge low knowledge, medium knowledge, and high knowledge. So we decide now to define the knowledge level as follows. Now, this is now the specific ways in using the operational definitions that you have your okay, classification, the high knowledge, the medium knowledge, the low knowledge, and the no knowledge. How to define it? You have this if you say I did, uh, the use of a person with high knowledge, there would be 15 or more correct answers. Medium knowledge, there is 8 to 14 correct answers. And for low knowledge, there is 1 to 7 correct answers. And for no knowledge at all, that would be no correct answers. Then it would be understandable for us how to use this operational definitions. So why do you need a personal definitions when you already have perfectly good conceptual definition, right? All right, this is correct. Because since we have this straight or the literal, meron na tayo meaning, right? Meron tayong meaning sa ating definitions. Just like we're making a concept paper, thin paper, we have this research. No. In order for us to target our function, the purpose of our study, we have to define not only for our conceptual definitions of the specific term of that specific word, but you include also the conceptual. In your conceptual definitions, you explain what your constructs are by, are by showing how they relate to the constructs. You will relate it. If you have this, the first one is you have the example, the definition of a variable about uh, uh, lavender language. Uh, you can uh, lavender language example. Uh, the uh, what do you call this one? The English language. English, okay. English language. You define it conceptually, okay. After the conceptual definition, you will have the uh, support or another definition that is conceptual based on the target, based on the purpose that you're going through with R, with your theme or concept paper. So as what I've said, there is an explanation of the constructs. It refers to our abstract and there exists only as real as concept as the thoughts you have and while you watch your seagull source for the difference. So uh, in summary, in a summary of this, operational, de uh, operational definitions describe the variables. You will use indicators and procedures. You will use to observe to measure. So uh, ano yung measure natin? Then you need operational operation. Operation operational definition because you can't measure anything without one no matter how good your conceptual definition okay you stick to it and you provide its specifications then why should you use operational definitions right okay very easy operational definitions put workable meaning into our everyday uh, terminology very good that is right to communicate effectively and avoid misinterpretations the members of the team data collectors and both internal external customers and suppliers or a certain group must use the same operational definitions for the same purpose. so magkakaparehong sila sa concepts ng pagbibigay ng yung conceptual definition but uh, tingnan natin sa operational definitions kung ano yung target, ano yung purpose mo. Uh, ano bang purpose dito sa ating study? Okay, then misunderstanding, waste time, but words, they add variations to your process. Consequently, it is vital, uh, vitally important to develop personal definitions especially if you are doing research. Okay, so now, students and to all the viewers right now at home, thank you so much for your, uh, your what do you call, uh, active participation right now. We're going now, we will go now to, we're going through with the what's more of our, uh, of our mojo. So, identify which definitions belong to conceptual operational definitions by putting check. 
uh, mark if it is funding by box. So you identify now based on the numbers. We have this one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So if you can identify that based on the conceptual and operational definition of that, okay, that question, okay, you can have this, the learning, okay, about the, the two, okay. All right, so let's start it with number one. What is your answer for number one? Anybody from our group or the audience for our viewers right now at home? What is your answer for number one? Is it conceptual or operational? Adolescence is a transition stage of physical and psychological development that really occurs during the period from puberty to legal adulthood. Adolescence, use, uh, adolescence is usually associated with teenage years, but its physical, psychological, or cultural expressions may begin earlier and, and later. What is your answer from okay, viewers at home? Okay, for number one, let's try to check. What is that answer for number one? That is, okay, that is conceptual. Okay, that is conceptual. This is only a literal meaning, a straightforward meaning based on the concept. Okay, the concept. And we have this term, adolescence. Okay, what about number two? Number two, adolescence refers to the age ranging from 13 to 19 years. They may vary in research. What is this answer? What is the answer? This is, okay, again, refers to age, specifying. Okay, that is very in a research that is operational. Okay, not only in our uh, conceptual, okay, but it's also operational. Okay, what about number three? Number three, the correct answer for number three is, okay, this is an example of, okay, ta -ta -la -la, the correct answer is, Da -da. this is conceptual okay conceptual very good okay so i know you are following with me then you you continue with this one by answering if this conceptual or if this is operational okay so for one two and three i already answered with you about conceptual and operational then you will continue for number four five six seven so that will be part of your task now if it is operational or conceptual okay so this time what i have learned Okay, directions, review the lesson and give it technical operational definitions. Then write your reflection in your notebook by completing the statements below. Again, in your module, you have that in your module. What are your technical operational definitions on this? Or what are your learnings on this lesson? Okay, what? I mean, what have you grasped? Okay. You've, you've got from this topic giving technical operational definitions okay about knowing on conceptual and operational definitions okay because these are all vital no in uh, giving definitions and explanations to a concept especially in your term paper concept paper and also research okay then write your reflection your notebook i know you have your notebook paper in there but the, then you complete it right now. I have learned that. Ano bang natutunan natin? After knowing those examples, after, uh, after delving uh, more onto the details between these conceptual definitions and operational definitions, what I have realized, so I have realized that you continue. Okay, that is another task you will do in your task. Okay, that is uh, in your work, I mean, in your activity, what I have learned. Then I will apply, okay, after you have learned, after you realized about things, no, uh, about this matter, no, ano ba ang purpose nito, why we know this, we should know this one, then how will you apply it? 
when or where you will apply this. Okay? Giving technical and operational definitions. Thank you. What I have learned. All right. So this would be your what I can do. So let us practice more than uh, according to the directions in your module. Okay. From the writers, no, there in our Negros Oriental. Thank you so much for this activity. Okay, make a short essay highlighting the importance of using operational definition. Then you may provide examples and or experiences that would relate to content. Then be guided with your rubric. Okay, thank you so much. Then this would be your rubric. Anything that you will do, there should be a guide. An example of this is the rubric that I provided. Okay, so this is, okay, so this is another rubric, okay, now you can take a short, like, ah, okay, that's it. So, are there any questions so far for our activity this afternoon? Okay, if you have questions, you can ask something, okay, say again. All right, to touch with, okay, to touch with, let's have the assessment, Okay. Uh, we, try, we will try the number one, then uh, the rest of these items, you will answer that in your own at home, based in your assignments, as part of your assignment. So since this is assessment and you have to uh, do it, okay? So you're almost done with it, but you will do it, okay? So develop an operational definition of emotions, behaviors, and states of being. For each of the following statements, please provide operational definition for the underlined words. So while you're doing this, keep in mind that an operational definition clarifies how the researcher should go about measuring the process, activity, or thing. So this is number one. Number one. The experimenter wants to figure out or figure out how recreational drugs affect a person's sense of humor. Again, the, the experimenter wants to figure out how recreational drugs affect a person's sense of humor. The underlined word here is the sense of humor. Then we will develop now operational definition of emotions, behaviors, and states of being about this underlined phrase, sense of humor. Then for that answer, as your guide for the following questions uh, for number two and so on and so forth for two, three, four, and five, uh, let's try have uh, having this one. The sense of humor is the ability and will to enjoy certain things and situations. Now, it is a situation whereby a person finds some things funny and enjoys doing or seeing them happen. It can be determined by exposing a person to things that are perceived to be funny and observing if they will be find them funny. So that is operational. And this is based on the author and it's based on the writer. And this is based from your own definition or what is your analysis and what is your interpretation about this sense of humor, a phrase. Okay, so since this is operational definition, since you get it all by specifying all those, not a concept to a definition, but operational definition. All right, so I do hope, okay, you continue all those things that I have assigned you to do. Then please bear in mind that doing this technical writing, especially in your subject now in English, then giving technical operational definitions is very vital and essential, okay, or essential in many ways in doing writing, in doing a reason, in doing not only research, but in our everyday life. This could be reflected in us, okay, by giving true and genuine, uh, specific meaning, not only for conceptual, the straightforward definitions of a term, of a concept, but in order for us to know what's our purpose, in order for no, in order to know what we should be our target, okay, target to hit that point, you should have your operational definitions in that term, right? So uh, please uh, review, okay? If you have some questions, if you have some clarifications, then you can write it down in our comment box so that 
we will reply you or we can assist you everything all right so that is in our lesson uh, Engl uh in our lesson for english 10 uh, for quarter four module two giving technical and operational definitions all right so i think uh it's time okay so see you now in our next uh session so Thank you so much for your active participations. I do hope you are now in your right place, listening to me and feeling with me and following my uh, guides no? in order for you to understand well the topic, okay? Giving technical operation definitions. All right, so I think that, end, uh, that ends our session for today. This has been your tutor, Jess, for this subject, okay? Substitute teacher for this subject, or a tutor for the subject English 10. And see you no, in the next episode only here at Edelite Program of Department of Education, Philippines. Leaving you with this code from Vivek Manlani. Never stop learning because life never stops teaching. Sulok edukalidad. Depend. Tagumpay. See you for the next session. Reading and writing skills. Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating Itulay Tutorial Session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating Ito Live Free Online Tutorial Session sa Filipino. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating Ito Live Tutorial Session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit Channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippines Social Media Accounts. Paalam!